Guess what time it is, y'all? It is time to pick up the lucky fans that won the Excalibur uh, baggage claim is over here. The Excalibur giveaway that we did with Deer Meat for Dinner. I've got a guy named Daniel Garcia and his best bro flying in right now. And they just texted me and said they just arrived. How's it going? What's up, boys? My man. How you doing? Good, good, good. How are you? I'm doing very good. How cool is this? Awesome. <laughs> this is great. This is so cool. I, I first got the text uh, to 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 apply for it. Right. From from Excalibur, and I was like, you know what? I hardly want anything. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fill it out. But then your video came out. Yeah. And uh, my wife said, you know what? You need to fill that out. So you know what? You're right. Let me fill it out That's and it. everything. And uh, it, it was it was funny because. When I got the call, I had it on on uh, vibrate because I was still asleep, and he let me uh, Tim go out and gave me a, a message. So I got up and I was listening to it, and I jumped out of bed so fast my wife got scared. She goes, "What's going on? What's going on? I just won!" She was like, "No way!" And I was like, "Yes!" Oh, oh man, so I'm running around the house and everything. Hey, I won! <laughs> that was tired, oh man, man. That was so good. Okay. I think both of our wives were glad we finally left. Right. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Here are some gifts from the guys at Excalibur. That's yours. This is yours. Oh, it's a takedown. Check this out. Come in here to 90. This comes up and the bow is assembled. Literally that fast. We're going to throw a scope on top and we're ready to go. Pretty rad, huh? Man, this thing's shoulders nice. You want me to aim at the same spot? Or aim at the exact same spot. Okay. You just, you Robin Hood did. Did he really? He Robin Hood did. It sounded like it. Robin Hood. Oh, I've never man. in my life seen a oh, crossbow Robin geez. Hood. He Robin Hood. Look at that. That's oh. a Robin Hood on a crossbow bolt. Literally. That's the makeup for that. Dude, so listen, this is what I'm about to tell you guys. He was aiming for right here. This was his first shot. And I said, okay, dude, just aim for the exact same spot you aimed for the first time. And he literally had to have put the bolt, the point of this bolt had to hit the inside of that. Dude, that's the only time I have ever seen that done in my life, anywhere ever. Bro, that is going home with you. Check this out. Man. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. look at that. You can see that right there is that right there. Hit it dead center and pushed it in. Perfect flight. Bro, never get rid of that. That is cool. And I thought I was Ooh, that's insane. <laughs> Look at that. Holy cow. I don't, I mean, is that a banded water snake or what is it? I want to say it's a gopher snake. That's the only thing I've ever seen that's this docile. And what they eat are rattlesnakes. Now the crazy thing is, I just filmed right here a blue heron eating a rattlesnake the other day. Here we go, I'm gonna let him go. Good, buddy. All right, bye. Good breakfast. So this is 100% action packed. Picked him up at the airport yesterday. 
went down, got him some camo last night at Bass Pro, then we went to Quiet Crab for dinner, put the bows together last night, sighted them in this morning, went out, fed Kia some fish for lunch, now we're going offshore. Hey, hang on tight. That's what we're after. All right, you guys. All right, you'll feel him. Like, see how crazy excited he's getting? You feel his tail going about a million miles an hour? There he is. Oh! Hold on, come on. Oh, oh that's a kingfish. That bird. <laughs> that bird thought he was gonna get a free meal there for a second. Got him? You're gonna have a really nice kingfish there, Danny. This is gonna be a lunker, boy. Come right here to the wall. There you go. Now you're gonna reel down to him. There you go, now gently ease him up. Bring him to us, you've got a really nice fish here. Bring him, now down to him. Good. Let him do his turn. You're all right, you're all right. You got a really nice fish here, Danny. Oh, nice king. Dude, you got a stud on. Get it, bring, bring them all. There are a lot of sharks around here right now, so we want to get this fish caught before the sharks eat them. Those little sharks won't eat them, but a big shark will eat them. This is a stud, bro. All right, lift up on him. Dude, look at the size of him. Reel down to him, reel, reel, reel. Let's get him to come. It's okay. Put a little bend in the rod. There you go, that bend will allow a little flex and play combo. Keep reeling, keep reeling. We gotta get him to us. Keep reeling, bring, 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 bring. Bring, got him. Yes. Smoker! Oh, Woo! Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yes! That's what we're after, boys. Oh, man. Whoa! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at that. Big old giant kang fish. Dude, we gotta get a picture. Someone get a camera. We're just having fun. Lots of fun. It's been great. Yeah, go to neutral right there. Nice. It's so cool when you're sitting there and they just jump out of the water. Right, just smash it. Sky. Keep your rods down nice and low. Another nice. nice fish, dude. Reel down to him, reel down to him. <laughs> King mackerel, baby. Right here. Oh. That's just a little shark. <laughs> hey, talk about an amazing day. These guys came here from Texas as fans. Now they're friends. We're having an amazing day. We're gonna clean these fish, head back to camp, and uh, who knows what else we're gonna get into. What a beautiful sunset and a beautiful day. This is what it all comes down to, you guys. They've got their bows, they're all sighted in. The sun's going down and the hogs are coming out. It's a great day to be alive, unless you're a big hog.
All right, you guys, this has escalated quickly. Patrick here has never killed anything with a crossbow. This afternoon, unfortunately, the game just wasn't moving. And if you're familiar with hunting, you realize some days the game moved great right before dark. Some days they don't. That FLIR thermosite on top of that Excalibur crossbow is pretty legit package. We're gonna hunt him after dark. All right, we're over here in a place I call the West Cow Pasture. On the east side of a pond, there's a big hog right now, so we're gonna try to get around to the back side of him, put the stalk on him. Let's go. Stay right behind me, but don't point that at me. Drilled him. Boy, that is a kick in the seat right there. I've never done anything like that in the dark before, and less with a crossbow. Hey, was that not the sickest thing ever? That was awesome. <laughs> I have never done anything like that ever, ever in my life. That is crazy. I hunt, I hunt a lot, hogs in particular. I don't get nervous, I don't get shaky. I use a rifle, I shoot from a long ways away in the broad daylight. That was intense. All I heard was a click and a thump. And I was like, yes, <laughs> he got him. I said, the last time I was that nervous about a shot was the very first time I shot a deer. No way. My heart, what I thought was gonna come on my chest. <laughs> so epic, man. This is what it's all about, you guys. Whenever I was with the guys at ATA, all the all the guys from Excalibur and Botac and Diamond, and we started talking about something cool. I was like, man, let's let's get someone to come down here. And how do you pick someone? It's not like I can say, hmm, yeah, Daniel Garcia, he sounds good. I would have never met you in a million years. But the only fair way to do it is just to randomly pull someone. And here y'all are. Was it worth it? Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> times. <laughs> Dude, that is a warrior, bro. Epic, man. That is a fantastic animal. Nothing went wrong from the time we saw him. So this is where that hog was standing. And what they do is they come in here and, I mean, that doesn't look big, but it's that deep and that big, and they just root and root and root. And when they find something that they like, they just dig it all up. It's incredible how destructive <laughs> they can be. I told you guys, I sneeze all the time. Okay. We're locked, cock, ready to rock. Round two coming at you. We're in the East Hayfield right now, and I just spotted three monsters from about 400 yards with this little breach. Insert heavy music. It's a horde of hogs. Oh crap. Like, this, this is gonna get sketchy because we're gonna be in amongst them, all right? I promise you, I got you. I... What about me? You're gonna slowly walk. I'm gonna be right behind you, and I'm gonna tell you what to do. Just look through the, look through the scope. 
All I can tell you is that was one of the most epic stalks of all time. All I can tell you boys is it's been an honor and a pleasure having y'all come to my home and come out on my ranch, come out on a boat with us. This is a culmination of a great time in the outdoors together. I consider y'all friends. It's been a great experience. One I will never forget. It was a great trip. I liked the hunting and the fishing, and, and it, but it was more than that. We got to, you taught us stuff that you've learned over your career in this. Well, we teach each other, you know. It's, it's not a one-way road. I, I encourage everybody that's out there, if you're into hunting, fishing, heck, life, just life in general, you can learn from everyone. And don't be, don't be scared to try to teach somebody. You know, those secrets that you've learned across over the years feels really good when you can turn somebody on to something and watch that excitement and that joy whenever it works. And uh, it worked all perfectly. All right, you guys, this video started right here on the way to the airport to pick up these guys. When I was picking them up, they were just fans. But here we are four days later. I got two new friends. It was good. You guys are friends and you're welcome back, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Good stuff, you guys. I appreciate you guys being a part of Deer Meat for Dinner. To everyone who entered to win this sweepstakes, to win this trip, I wish you could have come, but I hope you found some enjoyment watching these guys. I hope to meet each and every one of you. Everybody at Excalibur, thank you so much. You're wonderful. Take care. God bless. And we are, say it, gone.